How did America go from a divided election to the brink of a civil war in just five chaotic months? Hello, Book Foxes! Welcome to At The Book Fox Summaries, where we keep books simplified for your busy life, one summary at a time. Today we're exploring The Demon of Unrest by master storyteller Eric Larson, published on April 30th, 2024. Known for his captivating historical nonfiction, Larson delivers a suspenseful account of the five pivotal months between Abraham Lincoln's election and the Confederate attack on Fort Sumter, which ignited the Civil War. This book is a powerful reflection on the intense conflicts and personal struggles that propelled America into one of its darkest periods. The story begins on November 6, 1860, with Abraham Lincoln's narrow victory in the presidential election. The nation was bitterly divided, and Lincoln quickly faced the growing threat of Southern secession. Slavery was the fuel for this division, but passions in both the North and South centered on one crucial point, the Federal Fortress of Fort Sumter in Charleston, South Carolina. Over these five months, Larson highlights a series of tragic errors, miscommunications and betrayals, which pushed the country closer to war. Amid rising tensions, Lincoln struggled to hold the Union together, grappling with his own Secretary of State, William Seward, whose ambitions added to the confusion. In the end, Lincoln faced a haunting realization. Despite his efforts, war seemed inevitable, and he feared it would come at a devastating cost. By tying these historical events to our present-day issues, Larson encourages readers to recognize patterns that may still be influencing our society's stability. Larson brings the key figures of this tense period to life. At the center is Major Robert Anderson, the commander of Fort Sumter. Although a former slave owner sympathetic to the South, Anderson remained loyal to the Union, a loyalty that placed him in a perilous position. Then there's Edmund Ruffin, a fervent, bloodthirsty secessionist who stoked anti-Union sentiment with every opportunity. And we meet Mary Boykin Chestnut, the wife of a wealthy planner who kept a diary detailing her own struggles with marriage and the institution of slavery, seeing troubling parallels between them, Finally, Larson gives us a look into the burdened Lincoln who, alongside his cunning yet deceitful Secretary of State, William Seward, wrestled with the looming specter of war. The central theme in The Demon of Unrest is the harrowing journey from political division to outright war. Larson captures how the mounting tensions over slavery and state rights eventually exploded. Another powerful theme is the role of communication and miscommunication in fanning the flames of unrest. The chaotic, error-filled exchanges between leaders during this period highlight the risks of unchecked ambition and egos in positions of power. Through these themes, Larson suggests that cataclysmic events often grow out of minor misunderstandings and the refusal to find common ground, and Larson suggests that recognizing these emotions in history can help us better address them today. In today's world, the demon of unrest serves as a sobering reminder of how political division can escalate if left unchecked. Larson's narrative connects past issues of misinformation, polarization, and ego-driven politics with modern-day conflicts, encouraging readers to reflect on the importance of dialogue and unity. It's a call to action, prompting us to consider how history's patterns may still be shaping society today. Reading Larson's depiction of these five intense months sheds light on the fragile nature of unity. His exploration of the characters' inner conflicts and the misunderstandings that unfolded offers a compelling view into how easily division can take root. The Demon of Unrest is a fascinating read for anyone seeking to understand the societal factors that lead to large-scale conflict. To wrap up, The Demon of Unrest is a gripping historical account of the events leading to the Civil War. With meticulous research and a suspenseful narrative, Larson vividly brings to life a period of American history that holds essential lessons for us today. And here's a bonus tip for those who made it to the end, if you're interested in another look at society's psychological struggles, check out our summary of The Anxious Generation by Jonathan Haidt. You can find it in our channel library. If this book aligns with your interests, you can easily grab your copy through the link in the description. Thank you for your support. Thanks for joining us, Book Foxes. If you enjoyed this summary, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more books simplified for your busy life. And let's keep the conversation going in the comments. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Books simplified, minds amplified. See you in the next summary.